Hello class, I created this video to help with some of your participation and challenge activities for module four. Uh, so here's the first question. <clears throat> it looks like we're gonna try to find the z-score given a probability, right? So we can do this backwards and forwards, right? I can give you a probability, you give me a z-score, or I give you a z-score, you give me the probability. Okay, so the question says, uh, the GRE scores for both verbal and quantitative reasoning are approximately normally distrib uh, distributed, which is great, and scaled to have a mean of 150 with a standard deviation of 8.75. Okay, and then it says below, what score do 40% of all scores fall? Okay, so let's use our spreadsheet here and let's break down a few things. Probability, uh, we were mean, standard deviation, and uh, the, the value that we're looking for, okay? And I guess we can kind of put question mark, right? This is what we want to find here. Uh, okay. So our probability would be the 40%. So we could write that as 0.4, right? That's my probability. The mean was given to us, that was 150. And the standard deviation, I believe, was also given to us. Uh, I think it was 8.75, right? Standard deviation, 8.75. And we want to know below what score do 40% of all the scores fall, right? So what's the value here? And it looks like we have to go to three decimal places. Okay, so we have an Excel function we can use. So if I jump to my Excel spreadsheet and I type in equals norm.inv, think almost like inverse, and actually tells us here, right, returns the inverse of the normal cumulative distribution uh, for the specified mean and standard deviation, right? So what was our mean? That was the 150 comma, oops, and what was our standard deviation? That was 8.75, press enter. Oops, it says too few arguments, what did I do there? Uh, oh, I skipped the probability, right? I need the probability, the mean, and the standard deviation. So let me just retype that, sorry about that. All right, so I need the probability, which was the 0.4, and then the mean, which is the 150, and then the standard deviation is the 8.75. All right, now I have one, two, three items. I press enter, and it looks like we get 147.783. All right, because I believe it told us to round to three decimal places. So 147.383. I think that's what it said. Let's take a another look 147.783 excuse me 783 okay let's check our answer hey we got it right we use the norm inverse function 0.4 was the probability 150 was the given mean 8.75 was the standard deviation right so uh 147 is the score below which 40% of all scores fall, fall. okay? So 40% of the test takers, they scored a 147 or less, right? Or we can call that the 40th percentile. Then it says above what score do 20% of all scores fall? Okay, so we're gonna do the similar calculation except there's one tiny change. So I'm gonna copy this, put it down here. Right, the probability changes to 20%. So I'll type in 0.2. The mean is still 150. The standard deviation is still 8.75. But now we have to be careful here, right? We still go with the equals norm.inv. Um, but now the, the area under the normal curve is gonna be on the right side, right? When he said below, um, if I had a normal curve, which I don't, but you would think it's going to be on this left side of my curve. Above would be on the right side of the curve, okay? And remember, everything under the curve has to equal 1. So if I do 1 minus 0.2 for my probability, comma, and the mean was um, 
the 150 and the standard deviation was the 8.75 I think I got that in there correctly let's see I press enter I get 157.364 so let's put that in 157.364 just double check 157.364 great I press check answer and we got it correct right so notice the difference here when we were looking for the um, the area on the left we just used this norm.inv function and the probability was 40 percent or 0.4 uh, that was because we wanted to know what was happening below, right, to the left of our curve. But now we want to know above, right, that's the right side of our curve. So we had to subtract 1 minus 0 0.2 to get uh, 80%, right? And then the, the um, mean was still 150 and the standard deviation was still 8.75, right? So a score of 157... Uh, 20% of all scores will fall in that area, okay? So I hope you find that helpful. Um, I'm going to do maybe two more videos to help with some more information or more problems uh, in Section 4.2.